I tried to sleep longer, and I just couldn't. I'm ready to go. There's Mount Washington, about a mile and a half away. And I want to get up there and see the sunrise. Only made about 15 20 minutes before I worked up too much of a sweat to keep the puffy coat on. I keep the hat and gloves. Still a half mile to go and about 500 foot of up. I'm judging by the colors over there, I'm missing the sunrise. Almost there. Right there. Just want to get the shot before I get over in the glare of the sun. That's a little coffee shop restaurant. They'll uh, be open after I leave. Here's the observatory. And there's a bunch of clouds. I like clouds when they're over me and not raining or under me. I just don't like being in them. All right, let's go see what's left for the sunrise. There's Mount Washington. Here's the trail. And I'm not complaining. But all these little bushes are wet. So now I'm going. That's the way I'm going. The clouds are moving through. There's the Madison Spring Hut where I can get some water and I'm hoping a cup of coffee. One more steep uphill and steep downhill and I think I'm going to call it a day. Alright, I was able to get a couple cups of coffee, paid for one of their baked goods and then they had a Thing set up said tell me interesting fact or a joke for breakfast leftovers well I went with the joke and had a pancake with a couple spoonfuls of cold fried eggs all right Mount Madison I think I've only got like a half mile and 570 some foot of elevation gain so Let's get that taken care of. All right, this is my view from Madison. I was kind of hoping the cloud would have cleared out. For a second, it looked like it might, but I came from that way, and I see Cairns down that way. This is my last mountain of the day. I don't remember how many miles, but I'm getting down to the highway and going to town. Heading down, which is easier than up, 
even if it is just a little bit rough. On my way up Washington yesterday, I think, notice that all these rock fields, I don't see any marmots, groundhogs, not even a little pika. I haven't seen much of any mammal life up here at all, just little birds every now and then. It just seems odd. I think I was thin, thinned out for a minute, coming back down. Maybe I'll be out of it here in a minute. Okay, I think I'm getting out of the cloud for real now. I think that highway down there is the one that I want to end up at. It happened so suddenly that I didn't get the very start of it, but I am in the trees. And now, there's still rocks, but there's dirt in between the rocks. And here I even have dirt with a little bit of pine needles. Ah, oh, it feels so good. Coming down from up there. Yeah, it's dirt and rocks, but it is still steep. Here's the west branch of the Peabody River. Lots of water down here. So I made it to Pinkham Notch. The hostel that does slack packing is full. And even if I was to go to town and get a hotel room for 200 bucks a night, they say they won't slack pack you. Tried contacting the trail angel, haven't gotten a response. So I'm going to drink a little bit of Diet Coke and I'm gonna get going up the next mountain. All right, here I go. Things didn't go as planned, but that's pretty normal. So, getting ready to head uphill, start looking for a place to camp. Doesn't look like there's a lot of water up there, so I'm carrying a lot. This is Lost Pond, right by Pinkham Notch. Got a duck. Now it's found pond. Got a new friend with me, Ronan. Say hi, Ronan. Come on. There's Ronan. All right, we did an easy little one mile away from the notch. The Wildcat D Peak is two miles, and it's about 2,100 foot up. I don't know if I'm going to make that today. So I'll be looking for places to camp on the way because I'm carrying a lot of water. All right, it took me about a half hour to go one half of a mile. I was up there around noon today. Looks like the clouds are still spilling over. I'm tired, folks. So about a mile and a half left to go up. And even though it's 5.30, I might start looking for a spot to camp. Ronan's not tired. He's laughing at me. <laughs> so it's 6 o'clock now. At 5.30, me and Ronan found a pretty flat spot. Uh, I don't know, flats stretch, but a clear spot. And I'm tired. Even though we only did about a quarter of the distance up this first peak, we got about half of the uphill out of the way. I had a little bit of cell service, but that faded out. But I'm tired. I did about 17 miles today, which isn't bad in the whites. So I'm going to eat dinner and go to bed early, get up early and get going. All right, it's 6 o'clock. I'm leaving our campsite. Still have about another thousand foot of up to do, but I have a mile and a half to do it, whereas I did a thousand foot of up and half a mile last night. My pack is lighter. I was up at four. It was dark and misty. I didn't think I wanted to do this with a headlamp. So it's six o'clock now. Getting started.
It's clear over there. But cloudy up there where I'm going. Or the chance that those clouds are gonna clear out by the time I get there. Well, I guess that answers the question about whether the cloud was going to move out or not. Just came up there. I doubt the ski lift is running. I thought the map said it was a gondola. Would have been cool if I had just hitched over to it, got a ride up the mountain instead of having to walk it. All right, I'm pretty sure that's the way the trail's going there. Wildcat D Peak, with a fine view of Mount Washington and the Presidential Range. I'm at the top of Wildcat Mountain, and I don't know why I thought I was going to see something. So down there is Carter Notch, and then the next mountain I'm going up over there. For real. I have gotten below the cloud for right now. I'm going to go down so that I can come back up. just under the clouds. And I'm heading down into Carter Notch. This is the Carter Notch hut. I was able to get two bottles of water, which is more, two bottles more than I want to carry up Carter Dome. I was able to drink some coffee, eat leftover oatmeal, and there was a leftover sausage patty. So now I've got a pill as soon as I get back to the trail. All right, 1.2 miles up, 1,532 foot of elevation gain. I'm not tired. It's 10 o'clock and I've done four miles today. <laughs> anyway, here I go. Here's the view from the other side of Carter Notch. I'm still below the clouds. Just a different angle. Down there is the hut that I just left. I'm 250 foot from the top of Carter Dome and I'm getting to the bottom of a cloud. Gosh darn it. Still like a quarter mile. So hopefully it blows out by the time I get up there. It's really not anything to see from the top of Carter Dome. But it's the high point of my day. I was told the next peak, which is a little bit lower, has a view. Get down out of this cloud. I think that's Mount Height over there. Looks like if I can hurry up and get there, I might get a view. There we go. There's no clouds up there now. Not fair. Well, this is South Carter 
mountain. Not a lot to see. Next, I have Middle Carter Mountain, North Carter Mountain, Mount Moriah, which you see one of them over there. Still think I'm gonna try to do all of them today. We're gonna see. Not the top of Middle Carter yet. You get to go down, I guess. Heading that way. All right, I think this is the top. If I can get a view in the other direction, I can see the presidentials. Here's the top of Middle Carter. And if I can get a view going the other way, I think I can see the presidentials. There's the presidentials. Washington's still in a cloud, it looks like. I was over there. I think that's South Carter Mountain. That's Mount Moriah. Now I'm going down. See if it'll show up on here, but I was just up there and I can see a white blaze from here. All right, this is North Carter Mountain. That's Middle Carter. And now I've got 1,500 foot of down and 1,000 foot of Mount Moriah. Now, I think there's a few miles to cover that. I'm sure I can find something to complain about anyway. Clouds are looking a little dark over there. That's Gorham down there. One of these little peaks around here is Imp Mountain, but I'm not sure if it's the one I'm on or not. So the AT, 7.4 miles away over Mount Moria, comes to Route 2, and then I'm like 6 miles away from town. Stony Brook Trail goes 3.6 miles to Route 12, and I'm like 2 miles from town. And I want to do a little resupply and get something to eat. So I'm going to try going this way. Pretty little stream. And I'm assuming that over there is Stony Brook, for which this trail is named. And that's Stony Brook. And there's 16, not 12, like I said before. See if I can get to town. It took me five seconds, five seconds, and somebody pulled over to uh, give me a ride. Now I'm gonna get a little resupply, I'm gonna get me some food, and then I'll start worrying about finding a place to All sleep. All right, it's 6.30. I am well rested, resupplied. Probably bought too much, that just means I get to eat more. See how hard it is for me to get a ride actually through town. Walmart's a couple miles out of town. And then the trail, I think, is like six miles the other side. So here I go. So stopped for breakfast and two different couples tried to pay for my breakfast. Uh, so the second one just gave me $20. Unfortunately, I wasn't ready to leave when they were, so I didn't get a ride from them. I didn't pass up a chance to get a fountain Diet Coke and still looking to get out of town. It's 8 o'clock right now. So I did get a ride. It's 9 o'clock and I'm going to start with a <laughs> one mile road walk. The Andrew, Andrew Scoggin River Reservoir. Not a new building. Last quarter mile is a dirt road. Getting ready to get back on trail. All right, on trail. Next three miles. Got close to 1,900 foot of up. Doesn't look bad, but there's gonna be some steep parts. Parts were steep, 
Yeah, I don't think I'm even halfway yet. Just come to this burned area. I haven't seen a lot of them, so I figured I'd get some video. It's gonna be a hot day. A lot of the views are obscured by these stupid trees. Somebody should come, come and cut them all out. I was up there yesterday. All right, I'm gonna take a break. Getting ready to hit 1900. It's a good day. Hot day, but it's a good day. Okay, it's noon. I think I've done about four miles. It's about 12 and a half to Maine. I was hoping to sleep in Maine tonight. But my legs are feeling tired. So who knows? I get a little bit of downhill. There's the Gorham Dollar Tree. I was over there just a little while ago. All right, I'm not at the top yet. Got more up to me. Got another view. ledge and a spot to sit so I dropped my pack and I'm gonna take a break not doing big miles today got like 24 to Bethel so if I can get 15 and 15 that has me there plenty early to get a room some leaves are starting to turn color They're a little yellow I don't know if I doubt it's because of fall but it's just because it's hot and dry just thinking about how glad I am not to be going up this and how glad I am that it's not raining. Come on down that way. This is Page Pond. Lots of lily pads. And it goes a ways back. No, sir. For Gentian Pond. I don't know if you can see, but the water has some color to it. Some tannins or whatever. Not as pretty as Nuclear Lake. Or Canopus Lake. Well, I'm coming from down there. And the trail's gotten real steep. It's only going to be for like another two tenths of a mile, but it's like 300 foot up. I've done 12 miles today. Granted, I got started late, but I'm running out of steam. There's water in another mile or so. I think I'm going to get there and start looking for a place to camp. It's 7 o'clock. This isn't a peak, named peak that I know of. I uh, started noticing that all the campsites that I were seeing were already uh, being occupied so I'm gonna set up right here I'm gonna watch the sun set over there and all tonight seven o'clock water was a tenth of a mile and like 60 foot down so I went down and got water I'm going to eat a lot of food and go to sleep